Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be creating an abstract collage on denim using some of the Dina Wakely collage tissues. So at the moment in my art journal I've got lots of the denim pages left over and I've been on a mission to try and finish them off. So I've been not doing the same thing in all of them but I kind of start off in the same way. I always put a little bit of gesso on it. I don't fill up the entire piece with gesso because I actually really love having that denim on it. And I like the way that you can scrape the gesso across so you've got the different shades of white and you've got some of that blue peeking through as well. It's just a nice way to combine everything on the page. The reason I love using the gesso on the denim is it gives you a really true colour when you're stenciling over some other colours. So you'll notice when I'm putting the orange on, it's going to be darker on the um, denim piece than it is over the gesso. So it gives you, again, that really natural shade of colouring that you don't have to work very hard for. it. You've just put some white paint down in the background and you get this um, variation of colour which is really interesting on your page. So this is one of the Dina Wakely funky circles stencil it's just all hand cut circles so you get this sort of really cool effect on the page and again those circles are kind of just hanging there um, usually when I'm doing stenciling I like to sort of ground my figures or ground my stenciling to the edges I haven't in this case but because they're connected to the white and the whites connected to the edges they they don't look too much like they're floating in in thin air um, so that, well, that's how I've convinced myself anyway. <laughs> I've also grabbed out this stencil, which I think is called Half Circles, which is another Dina Wakely st circle, uh, stencil, sorry. But I really liked it because I could over stencil in those circles to add a little bit of extra colour and pop to it. Now what I'm doing at the moment is going through my stencil stash in the background because I knew I had this stencil as well which is a combination of three different patterns but it's got these little half smaller version of these little half circles on it which um, I knew could sort of work well together. I'm also going in and connecting the pink to the edges. The reason for that is because the pink's floating on top of the orange which isn't really connected so it's just helping everything sort of stick together and you can see now that kind of flows more naturally down the page than it did before before it's not floating in midair so to speak I'm also going in because you know you can never have too many circles on a page with this little dot pattern to add some extra interest over the page so I'm putting out very little paint and you can see I'm sort of sponging it out until it's almost gone so you've again got that variation in in color and shade you can see where it goes over the white, it's very bright yellow, and then when it gets over the other colours over the denim, it sort of fades away again. So you can, just by using sort of three colours there, you can get lots of variations by how much you sponge it out, how little or how much you put on, and what colours you're sponging it over. When I've been doing the layers, you'll be noticed I'll be heat setting in between each layer, and that just makes sure that my colours aren't going to mix um, on the page they're actually going to stay separate. So I'm going in, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, I knew I wanted a focal image on this page, this has been one of my favourites at the moment so I'm actually stamping it out onto, I've run out of collage tissue so this is actually grease proof paper, I keep going to say it's baking paper but it's not, it's grease proof paper so it's not sealed it's to actually soak up grease um, and it works really well as, it's not quite as translucent as you can see here as the collage tissue but it works pretty well and sort of disappears and you can get a 60 meter roll for three dollars from our local supermarket so I'm not going to turn that down. I decided to go in a different way however I decided to actually go with this little girl who again I don't use very often I've got quite a few of these um, in my stash because while I really like her I find her difficult to use on my pages but she kind of just fitted into that circle perfectly. Her hair sort of fitted into the, the shape and it, it just worked really well. So as I usually do with my figures, I'm just putting in a little bit of white in her eyes to create a focus there. And one thing that I was trying to work out is how to connect her to the bottom so she's not floating in air. So I decided just to draw a simple line with my Stabilo or pencil down to the ground 
so she's sort of got this little abstract body but she is actually not just a floating head on the page because that would really bother me if she was when I've done that I decided I needed to add some sort of quote or something to the page so I decided to go in with this um, stencil which is still a huge favorite of mine and put the word spill in I'm not sure did I put right in as well yes because I do love that spill and right I know the ands in the wrong place it should be up next to the spill but you know it all works out in the end um, and I chose to use turquoise as a contrast color on the page so that I had all those warm colours in the background and then I had the turquoise as a, a contrast complementary on the page. I also go in and put in a little bit of a height on her figure just to tie it all together and I'm doing some really loose journaling around the outside of the figure to um, sort of explain how I was feeling about the page or what that little doll made, meant to me and why I had um, spill and write. As I was finishing it off, I came across this quote chip, which I thought worked in really well too, and I've got lucky as a state of mind, so it all tied together. So I hope you break out your um, collage tissues onto the denim. They work really, really well on the denim, and they tie little simple um, abstract paintings together so well by adding that little bit of collage over the top. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.